I'm Neil Robson. My son's uh, taking over the uh, Genesis Rose and I'll be taking over the uh, Genesis Enigma, which we've been commissioning today. When we decided to go down this route of another boat, we did actually look at a few older boats. Been, we went to Starnaway and we've been at look at a few other boats and they were rough, you know, they were like, you would waste a lot of money. So Rob said, well, why don't we build another one? He said, I'm, I'm not, I've got a lot on at minute. So this was two and a half years ago when I started with all the plans and everything. And uh, so we went for that. And uh, that's where we are today. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, just want to get to see now. Local engineer, Jimmy Dean, he supplied the, uh, all the engines. There's two engines, a generator and a main engine. He's commissioned them today, everything's gone well. We went out, we, we set off steady, just at maybe a, a thousand revs, just to, to get the engine warmed up, and then we upped it to 1500, and Jim tests all the pressures in the engine, the exhaust pressures, and all the temperatures everywhere. So he's doing that, and then when everything's okay there, and then we up the revs, and we, we eventually ended up with the steam, well, the the full revs, which is 2,000 RPM, but we'll never steam at that. The top end revs, you don't really get any more speed, you just rev the engines more. So you've got to try and keep uh, as economical as you can. So then we did that, we had a good speed. We had, uh, you know, we're doing nine, nine knots into tide, which was good. But the boat is quite light at the minute, but by the time we've got all the gear on, she'll be quite a bit heavier. And obviously when you go to sea you've got all your bait and you've got maybe another two tonne of bait to go aboard. So it all, it all sinks the boat down and makes it slower. And well, obviously I had to push through the water. But uh, no, everything, Jim was really pleased with it today and uh, I was as well. It's also a bit of a relief. Like with these type of vessels, like the Genesis Rose, it's got a big Vivia tank in it. It holds 20,000 litres. It's 20 tonne and it holds maybe about 11 tonne of shellfish. Finding now that people are asking if the crabs are coming out of a Vivia boat because they're better quality when you get them ashore because they haven't been out of water that long and drying out. A lot of the problems boats have is they have a lot of dead shellfish. Once a, once a crab or a lobster's dead, it's, it's got no value whatsoever. So the, the better condition you can keep them in, the better off you are. And that's why we have the Vivias, because and it suits our way of fishing. We like to go away for a couple of days at a time, fishing. You all, you all more gear because you are steaming in and out to the harbour every night, and you do, you can get more sleep at times, because uh, you know you are steaming into harbour and landing and wasting time doing that.